Philippines, Luzon, Visayas at Mindanao. Welcome sa isa na namang edisyon ng MIB, mga inventor ng bayan. Ako pa rin ang inyong mga kasama, Sheila Edumas. At maganda ang ating tatalakay ngayong araw, lalo na dun sa mga um, curious kung tungkol dito sa Bataan Nuclear Power Plant na matagal na itong pinasara at halos hindi na, well, hindi na talaga siya ginagamit as of the moment. So, ang mga kasama nating inventor is meron siyang idea na imbes na gawing gamitin to bilang uh, nuclear is gagawin siyang thermal na magagamit ng ating mga kababayan. Kaya para maliwanagan tayo kung paano nga ba maaring i-turn ang isang uh, nuclear power plant into a thermal power plant, mga kasama natin si Engineer Harry Freires na magpapaliwanag sa atin netong uh, proseso na ito. Magandang araw po. Magandang araw naman. Sila. Yes. Ang um, bago tayo dumiretsyo doon uh, sa mismong um, conversion nitong Bataan Nuclear Power Plant is gusto ko lang malaman para na rin sa ating mga kababayan na nanonood ngayon na hindi masyadong aware tungkol sa different um, sources of energy. Ano, pa yung, ano ba yung ngayon ha, sa ating panahon ngayon dito sa Pilipinas is yung mga um, current and uh, kat, um, madalas na pinagkukuha na natin ng enerhiya. At bakit kailangan nating umisip ng mga iba pang uh, pagkukuha na nito? Ang uh, main po, uh, source of uh, energy at present is uh, fossil fuel. Mm -hmm. Itong mga energy, yung mga light natin, yung mm -hmm. mga motor, mm -hmm. yan ang galing po yan sa power plant na pinapatakbo ng fossil fuel. Mm -hmm. uh, either uh, diesel or uh, bunker uh, fuel, mm -hmm. all coming from what we call uh, fossil uh, fuel. Mm -hmm na 80% approximately supplied by Aramco in Saudi Arabia mm -hmm. uh, globally. Mm -hmm. So kinukuha natin from other countries, um, ini-import natin ini -import dito? Ini-import natin. Okay. So um, sa pamamagitan nitong inyong inventor, para din sa mga nanonood, ano, kaya, kaya medyo maraming alam ang ating kasama ngayon tungkol dito sa Bataan Nuclear Power Plant, is siya mismo kasi kasama siya dun sa mga bumuo nitong power plant na to. Isa siyang nuclear plant process chemist during that time. It was 19... Uh, The early 80s. Early 80s. 80, 81 like that. Mm -hmm. So nung itong ginawa kasi hindi pa naman to talagang na-test na talagang napagana, tama po ba? Uh. At ngayon, ang kinakatakot ng ating mga kababayan, eh baka pag ginamit na ulit itong nuclear uh, power plant, is magkaroon ito ng nuclear reaction, which is, there is no um, proper way kasi to expose, eh, uh, to dispose itong mga nuclears na to So, um, ano ba itong inyong proposal? Ang uh, proposal na ito na I was suggested, it was, uh, I was advised by Malacanang mm -hmm. to make a formal letter to... Uh, to uh, President Digong, and we have already submitted the letter mm -hmm. na we should not run the Bataan nuclear plant as nuclear. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is my proposal. And uh, we should run it as thermal. Mm -hmm. If uh, uh, thermal is the opposite of uh, nuclear, mm -hmm. the sense that our uh, fuel is a fossil fuel, mm -hmm. and then later on, uh, we will ship to which is uh, now my invention, I have a U.S. patent on that, mm -hmm. into protium uh, uh, hydrogen uh, fuel mm -hmm. coming from the light water, mm -hmm. not deuterium. Deuterium is the hydrogen isotope from the heavy water. Mm -hmm. Nung ni-research ko yan, dati a deuterium ako, now, mamahal ang gasolina pag deuterium, so I shifted to protium coming mm -hmm. from the light water. Mm -hmm. So, so yan po ang aking suggestion kay, mm -hmm. ano, kay mm -hmm. Presidente. Yes. So, how exactly are you going to do that? Babaklasin nyo ba yung mismong um, uh, Bataan Nuclear Power Plant and ter to turn it into thermal? Or uh, merong uh, simple process na pwede tayong gawin? Napakasimple lang po. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Sa loob ng containment building, sa loob ng containment building, yung mataas na yan. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay? Ang laman po niyan, eh, yung... Uh, ano, yung uh, pump, mm -hmm. 5,000 horsepower yon mm -hmm. And then we have a pressurizer and we have a nuclear reactor mm -hmm. na nagpapainit sa primary coolant pump. Mm -hmm. And then it goes to the steam generator. Pinakukuluan niya yung steam doon na para patakbuhin ng turbina to produce a 650 uh, megawatt. And then babalik ulit sa suction ng uh, primary coolant pump. Umiikot lang po yon mm -hmm. yung laman nito. Ngayon, to convert it into a uh, non-nuclear, into thermal, mm -hmm. uh, aalisin natin yung reactor o ay isolate na natin. Mm -hmm. Hindi ba delikado ang pag-alis noon? Hindi pa naman tutumagbo ng nuclear. Mm -hmm. it, it, was, it is already running, delikado. Mm -hmm. It is already running as a nuclear plant, delikado. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I will not dare. Hindi pa naman tumakbo ng tunan ng nuclear. Mm -hmm. So it's safe to go there. Mm -hmm. Pero pag tumatakbo na yung nuclear, sa loob niyon are all radioactivity. Mm -hmm. So safe pa naman. So we will uh, replace the nuclear reactor lalabas dito dalawang uh, pipe sa labas boiler farm or heater. Mm -hmm. Yun ang kapalit na reactor. Boil heat. Ganun lang. Kasimple. Mm -hmm. How about the efficiency? Uh, what will be more efficient if it's nuclear or if it's thermal? The uh, efficiency, uh, especially if it is running already on protium fuel, mm -hmm. it the you know, is more efficient the, and safe. Th this is the thermal. The thermal is uh, as fossil fuel. It may not be efficient as uh, nuclear, mm -hmm. but it is uh, safe. Mm -hmm. Sumabog man, wala tayong radio, radioactivity. Mm -hmm. Although the nuclear uh, law is more efficient and mm -hmm. economical, but it is uh, uh, risky, mm -hmm. dangerous, and therefore unsafe. Mm -hmm. We have already a Three Mile Island accident, Chernobyl uh, meltdown accident, and Fukushima mm -hmm. accident. That's why the, Ger Ger the Germany already don't want to, they, they want to decommission already all their nuclear plant mm -hmm. and replace by a thermal power, pl uh, the uh, plasma power plant mm -hmm. na invention nila. Mm -hmm. Okay? Tayo naman dito, since we are in the first in the world, made the uh, water as fuel, si Daniel Dingell, mm -hmm. tayo ang number one na, sa buong mundo, that is our honor, mm -hmm. we will run the Bataan nuclear plant finally uh, using light water. Mm -hmm. Tubig lang po. Mm -hmm. Meron na tayong kuryente. Mm -hmm. Yung po ang ating plano rito. Kaya po ng Pilipino yan. Hindi na kailangan ng Merkano dyan. Mm -hmm. How about uh, the cost? Yung uh, gagastusin sa pag-turn something into nuclear, um, gagawin natin thermal, Me medyo expensive ba siya? When uh, Congressman Kohanko suggested to rehab the Bataan nuclear plant as a nuclear, mm -hmm. okay, he uh, proposed a 1B dollar. Mm -hmm. 1 billion dollars. That is 50 B pesos mm -hmm. ngayon ha? Mm -hmm. so with the advent of Fukushima Fukushima accident mm -hmm. okay one of the worst accidents in the nuclear technology mm -hmm. baka maging tubi na yan mm -hmm. pero if we are going to convert convert it into uh, ano into thermal it is less than uh, 1B mm -hmm. uh, dollar mm -hmm. okay so it's cheaper mm -hmm. safer and economical. Now, uh, if there is a leak, and I'm sure there will be a hundred, hundred percent, I'm sure there will be a nuclear accident. Sorry to say, yeah. Mm -hmm. Nuclear <laughs> accident, even if it's not yet working, uh, even if it's not yet tested, the nuclear um, power plant in Bataan. Yes, if we if we run it on nuclear, may radioactivity ah, yeah. mm -hmm. na. Mm -hmm. I, I'm hundred percent sure that there will that be. there will be a nuclear accident. Mm -hmm. Devastated the Bataan, not only Bataan, radioactivity will uh, enter the Metro Manila mm -hmm. and it will take 100 hundreds of years to clean radioactivity here. Mm -hmm. Okay, the, all the prominent Filipinos will get out here. Sila Ayala, Kuanko, mga mayaman, lahat akong maiiwan sa Metro Manila. Mm -hmm. The center of Philippine civilization. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and tapatagbuhin mo lang ang nuclear plant for 15 years. Mm -hmm. You have to decommission it. Mm -hmm. And we handle the nuclear uh, waste. Problema yan. Mm -hmm. Okay, saan natin nilalagay yan? So, the uh, cleaning of radioactivity is hundreds of years, and yet the plant, nuclear plant, will run only for 15 years. Mm -hmm. And then, on the economics, the uh, ROI, return of investment, if we uh, run it as nuclear, is 40 years. And yet, uh, you will run it in 15 years, looking at 37%, mm -hmm. several billion uh, pesos. Now, if we run it, if we run it as thermal, the ROI is 15 years. And yet the plant, we can run for hundreds of years. Kita ang Pilipinas. Sikat ang administration ni President Duterte. Mm -hmm. Pero if, it is, uh, uh, if you run it as nuclear, sumabog yan, it will be in the Philippine history that the Duterte administration is a failure. Mm -hmm. and we don't want that to happen. Mm -hmm. And nasabi niyo na during that time na kausap niyo na dito si Pangulong Digong. Ay, hindi pa. Ah, hindi pa. But, stop lang niya. Ah, okay. And how did they react? They, uh, I was just trying to explain my point verbally. I had no, no plan to make a written, mm -hmm. written uh, uh, something, uh, uh, a letter to Digong. But the staff of uh, Mr. Bongo. Mm -hmm. Uh, asked me three times, and even before we get, get out from the office, hurry your letter. Three mm -hmm. times he gave me instruction to put it in writing. Mm -hmm. So I put it in uh, writing. 
after uh, three days, I submitted, my secretary submitted the uh, letter. So it is there already at uh, Malacanang, my proposal. Mm -hmm. So it's up to them to decide on that. Mm -hmm. But if ever um, you're willing to um, start or cooperate with the government, if they want to? Yes, if they approve my idea, and it is beneficial for the Filipinos, for our country, Mm -hmm. Then uh, I'm willing to cooperate. I will even be willing to be to, to head the team to convert that into thermal. Mm -hmm. ako ng planta ng tubig. I, I'm a design and built uh, uh, engineer, industrial mm -hmm. industrial plants. Mm -hmm. So talagang mas for you is it will be more effective if magiging thermal, thermal na siya and hindi na nuclear. And yeah. at the same time, it's isa pang issue since na napag-usapan nga matagal nang na store yung nuclear doon. So um meron ba talagang ay is there a 100% um uh, assurance na when you use it again after how many years na ni-stock mo siya is magkakaroon ng uh, malaking reaction yung nuclear when you open it again. Kasi before um they're suggesting na ituloy nga daw paganahin ulit. Sayang eh. We mm, spent already 2.1 billion yes. dollar. Mm -hmm. If and, and kung gagamitin ulit um is there for you as an engineer 100% assurance that something you know negative or bad will happen to that nuclear nano store yeah we have no stories of nuclear uh, uranium there no no but no. but the you know the plant is there if the plant is there it is not nuclear yet mm -hmm. and there is no uranium fuel yet there okay okay mm -hmm. it's completely safe to convert mm -hmm. Uh, now, if we uh, run it as uh, nuclear, that's the danger which I'm trying to put across. Mm -hmm. the, nobody knows that when we were there, uh, there is one thing happened there that the public does not, that government also didn't know. Me and uh, Ronald Talion knows this. Okay, he is the one who made the piping inside the containment building. The uh, steam generator, okay, the steam generator, the heat exchangers of the steam generator, eh, para sa akin, butas-butas na. Mm -hmm. uh, or corroded. Hindi maraming walang butas, but it is easily uh, be uh, corroded when it is uh, running as nuclear. Mm -hmm. And the radioactivity will go into the air, into the atmosphere, and into Metro Manila. Mm -hmm. In fact, when it happened, when the, for, for me, I thought it was uh, accident, but uh, there, uh, somebody suggested to me, Harry, it is not an accident, it is deliberate. Mm -hmm. So that if it is running as nuclear, then the Americans will profit on it because they're going to repair it. Mm -hmm. I'm actually, I'm the only one, since I was a previously a PAIC employee, mm -hmm. a trained and, uh, nuclear power plant inspector, I made a formal complaint to Westinghouse. Now, uh, the danger of uh, that what uh, they have done, mm -hmm. removing the deoxygenizing solution inside the steam generator when it is yet installed. Mm -hmm. I made a formal, and the, uh, the Westinghouse uh, ignored it. Mm -hmm. Itong sinabi nyo na nakita nyo yung steam pipe, tama ba? Na may butas? No, I, uh, because uh, when it was delivered from the US, uh, it, was, it is uh, protected by a deoxygenizing solution. Mm -hmm. Nakababad yan. Para yung oxygen hindi mag-react sa uh, he, uh, he, steam generator. Mm -hmm. Okay, and a drain yun. Mm -hmm. And the several thousand, uh, you know, tubes, uh, heat exchangers is very exposed in a moist state to a 20% uh, concentration of oxygen in the air. Mm -hmm. So for us, as chemical engineer, there is already a start of pitting corrosion. Mm -hmm. Pero ito, na, napansin nyo to before pa, nung ginagawa pa lang, ginagawa ito, pa lang. binubuo uh, pa lang. I made the formal complaint actually. I'm mm -hmm. the only one. Kasi nga, inspector ako eh. Mm -hmm. Pero hindi na ako empleyado ng PAEC. Mm -hmm. Nandun na ako sa Bataan, no, clerk lang. Mm -hmm. Pero the Westinghouse ignored it. They did not uh, do anything they did, about they, they did not even reply to my letter. Mm -hmm. so, well, I was their employee. <laughs> uh, I'm under, we are under, five of us, precious time is under NPC. Westinghouse and Mescor, mm -hmm. Meralco Industrial. Mm -hmm. So this is what I feel. If, if we run it as nuclear, there will be a nuclear accident. Mm -hmm. I'm 100% sure. Mm -hmm. So if ever na gagawin natin siyang uh, thermal na lang, how many years will it take for um, it to be converted? We will, be, uh, we will discussing it for those interested who will uh, finance it. We will limit maybe 24 hours work. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll limit it two years to three years. Mm -hmm. It should be within the Duterte administration. Bago siya magiging um, operational. Mag operational na. Uh -huh. And then, pag naging operational na siya, um, gaano kalaki yung uh, matutu matusuplayan niya ng energy? Ay, malawak. 650 megawatt. Mm -hmm. Buong Luzon, eh. Bin Bisayas. 
Mm -hmm. Okay? And uh, if we have perfected the Philippine Protein Splitter Machine, which I have invented, I have a U.S. patent on that, the, we form the federal state. Mm -hmm. Each federal state will have their own power plant run by water. Mm -hmm. Okay? And later on, owned by the cooperatives of the consumer. Mm -hmm. Dina kailangan kuntador. 100 pesos per house na lang. Fix. Pag may aircon ka, di 200 pesos a month. Mm -hmm. This is our uh, dream. If we have water as uh, fuel, considering that uh, diesel is 25 pesos per liter, water is 3 centavos per liter. Mm -hmm. And yet, if we split the uh, water into hydrogen and oxygen using a DC current, and then we use the hydrogen, the protium, mm -hmm. as fuel into the combustion chamber of the uh, power plant, the product of combustion is also water. Mm -hmm. H2 plus O2 equals to H2O. And then we condense it into a liquid form and goes back to the raw water tank. It's split again, burn, condensed. The water is just going around and we have electricity. Mm -hmm. That is a 99% uh, savings in, uh, in uh, uh, fuel consumption. Mm -hmm. How about the maintenance? The maintenance will be easy. Mm -hmm. Because it is our technology, we develop it. Yes. Okay. We could sell the machine to other countries. Mm -hmm. Okay? And poverty will be solved. We will become a first world country. Mm -hmm. Hindi ba tayo uh, magkakaroon ng problems when it comes to water supply? No, because the water is just recirculating. Mm -hmm. If there is a loss, maybe 5 or 10 percent, malaki na. Mm -hmm. The water is recirculating. That's the issue the Western countries try to put that the drinking water will be consumed. Mm -hmm. If you use water, no, it will not. Why? Because the water is just recirculating. Mm -hmm. Hindi ba siya makakadumi? Like, um, if, if it will, para kahit mag-circulate siya pa ulit-ulit, okay lang, there's no problem with there the quality no, of the water. There is no production of, of toxic gases like uh, uh, sulfur dioxide, mm -hmm. nitrogen dioxide. The uh, product is oxygen. We mm -hmm. increase the oxygen in air, and the product is water. Mm -hmm. the environmentally, it is uh, beneficial mm -hmm. to humanity if it becomes the fuel. Mm -hmm. And by the way, there is no other substitute for fossil fuel except the hydrogen from water, mm -hmm. protium. There is no other as a chemical engineer. Mm -hmm. so I just want to put across that if other countries are uh, listening, not only the Filipinos, the only substitute for fossil fuel is the protium uh, hydrogen isotope from the light water. Mm -hmm. Ayan. So, ang dami nating natutunan mula kay Engineer uh, Harry Ferris. At nakakatawa rin kasi kayo mismo um, first hand na um, part kayo ng Bataan Nuclear Power Plant. Yes, na I work there. So, uh, maganda na naririnig natin. Credible, yung, eh? Yes, very <laughs> credible. Um, sir, bago tayo magpaalam, uh, may mga gusto po kayong um, sabihin, lalo na kung may mga nanonood sa atin ngayon ng government agencies, DOST, o kaya naman um, sa Department of Energy. Yes, uh, I've expressed uh, now directly before we, we, only us invent, inventors are talking about this, but by God, the uh, divine providence, people that I don't know directed me to Maracanang, and I have a formal letter already to our beloved uh, President uh, Duterte. The only suggestion for them is uh, uh, we have a design of the plant it needs uh, a little bit research and prototyping. Mm -hmm. This is what uh, we request from the government to help the Filipino inventor to prototype it and we see a small scale working and then we make a bigger scale for the Bataan Nuclear Power Plant. Okay. Ayan! So okay. thank you, maraming salamat Engineer Harry Freire's inventor. Hindi pa siya, hindi, hindi niya invento. Ito pala is, is isa palang proposal. So, proposal pala. Yes, no. na gawing isang thermal uh, power pero, plant. Pero nakapatent na sa US, ah, that mm. it is a Filipino who first conceptualized this mm -hmm. of water para power plant. Hindi sa kotse, ah. Yes. Iba yun. Mm -hmm. Talaga namang okay. hakaiba ang mga Pinoy. Napaka-creative at napakagaling pagdating sa mga ganyan mga ideas. At syempre, bago tayo magpaalam, gusto ko lang magpasalamat sa DST, DST STII kay Director Richard Burgos na tumutulong sa atin para mahanap ang ating mga natatanging inventor. At sa DST Technology Application and Promotion Institute o TAPI. Maraming maraming salamat po at nakakatuwang isipin na tumutulong at kumikilos ang ahensya ng ating pamahalaan para suportahan ang ating mga natatanging inventor. Bueno, ako po ang inyong na kasama Sheila Eduwas. Laging tandaan na ang kaalaman ay susi sa kaunlaran. Kaya tuklasin ang galing ng MIB, mga inventor ng bayan.